Hey, what's up guys? It's been a while since I've actually appeared on camera, but I wanted to make a couple of videos today because it's been a while since I've uploaded on the YouTube channel. So, like I said, I'm going to do a couple of videos. Um, this first one, I'm going to do uh, a, all the Funko Pops that I've gotten recently mm -hmm. over the last couple of months. Um, I may have shown some of these in previous videos and if I have I apologize um, sometimes it's hard to keep track I try to keep things in somewhat of an order I try to keep you know stuff that I need to make videos of in one pile things I need to that I've made videos of that I still need to open and then I've got stuff going on over on my TikTok uh, account as well so if you have TikTok I'll put that link in the description so you can follow that but Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, this one I think is the most recent pickup that I have, and that's this little guy here. This is the Walmart exclusive or the uh, Wondrous One Wondrous Con uh, exclusive Groot that you can get at Walmart. I was surprised to actually find these at my local Walmart. They had um, two or three of them, um, and I decided to pick it up. I had it pre-ordered. I uh, went ahead and just picked it up since I saw it in person. I can make sure I got a good box and all that stuff. Even though I really don't care too much about boxes. But this one's really cool. Of course, it's from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. With uh, the little explosive device that he wants to push the red button. And, uh, just, you know, kill everyone. <laughs> uh, really love that scene a lot. So I decided to pick that one up, Groot. Um, in the Guardians... Of the Galaxy and Marvel Realm, I also picked up Baby Rocket, and this is from the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Uh, this one was just too cute to pass up on. I absolutely love this one. I had this one pre ordered uh, on Amazon, and I just uh, recently got that one in. I think that's adorable. <clears throat> now, if you want to see any of these pops out of the box, a 360 view, all that stuff. Follow me on TikTok um, because I'll be doing them over there. I can also do them over here in Reels. So if you if you want to see any of these, um, you know, out of the box, 360 view, let me know. Drop that in the comments below. I'll be happy to do that. It may take me a little bit to get to that, but let me know. And then this one here, <clears throat> excuse me, I recently got from uh, Big Bad Toy Store. I... Um, ordered this one and, and my pile of loot. Uh, this is the last one that I needed from Spider-Man No Way Home to complete the three Peters. I already have the other two and now I have the amazing Spider-Man, of course, played by Andrew Garfield. Uh, last but certainly not least. Um, so I'm really happy to have that in the Spidey collection, the ever-growing Spidey collection, especially when it comes to Funko Pops. <clears throat> Speaking of Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man, got this a while back from Entertainment Earth. Of course, it is the uh, PX Previews exclusive. This is Andrew Unmasked. This one here, too, is sold out at Entertainment Earth now. Um, so uh, there's a good chance, unless they do a restock on this one, this one's going to go up in value. But I'm really happy to have this one. I think it's a pretty cool pop. And it was an epic uh, moment in Spider-Man No Way Home. And then, I guess we'll start, we'll stay in the uh, the Marvel realm. Actually, we'll stay in the Spider-Man and Marvel realm, I guess. This is, this one actually here, I lied. This one is my most recent pickup. Spider-Man 2099 from the upcoming Spider-Man Across the Universe movie. Sequel to Spider-Man Into... The Spider Verse, one of my all-time favorite uh, costume suits, um, Spider-Man 2099. I know it's technically different. You know, it's a different person. It's not Peter Parker. It's Miguel O'Hara. But this suit is just so cool. So I had to have that one. Then we're gonna stay in the realm of Marvel. I ended up picking this one up. This was kind of an impulse uh, pickup. This one here is from Wondrous Con 2023, um, or the Wondrous Con uh, 2023 uh, Limited Edition. 
from Moon Knight. Impulse buy, but I really liked this character. I loved the Moon Knight show. It was very, very good. Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of still holding out hope that they're going to do a season two. I want to see more of the character of Moon Knight. Impulse buy, really did like this character. I thought she was very cool. Ended up picking it up because I saw it in person, and uh, it's gone now from my Target store, so I'm glad I picked it up when I did. I think it's still available um, to have shipped on uh, Target's app, so if you still want it, I think there's still a chance of getting it. Uh, then we're going to jump into, uh, well, this one here, just a miscellaneous pickup. This from GameStop. It is Paul Heyman. WWE, um, this is the ECW version of Paul Heyman, if you know anything about professional wrestling. I ended up getting this for, I think I paid like $4 and some change. Um, it was on sale. I also had a coupon, so I got this for pretty cheap. I've been wanting it for a while, but I couldn't really justify it. Um, I don't really do wrestling pops. I do wrestling figures, but uh, I really do like this pop a lot i, I love that that we got an ecw era uh paul Heyman. even though i think this is um technically from the uh wwe's pay-per-view of ecw one night stand uh, but still cool nonetheless he's got the ecw hat and microphone and all that stuff so very very cool to have that in the collection <clears throat> now we're going to get into uh the star wars uh, portion of the Funko Pops. Um, so I got two of these. These Stormtroopers. These are the new ones. Or I mean, they're they're new in the in a sense. Uh, ended up finding one at my Target store uh, and picked it up. And then I found another. Um, I think I think at Target also. I think I got both at Target. I'd gotten one on one trip, and then I went back, and they still had one, and I picked up a second one. I am just a sucker for the OG Stormtrooper uh, suit, the look. It's iconic. I just, I really like it. Um, there, <laughs> Funny story, there is actually, or there was one at my local Walmart that I was very, very tempted to pick up as well, and I would have had three of these, but I was able to resist, but I really do love the OG Stormtrooper look, so have two of those now and the same day I picked up the first stormtrooper at Target they also had Darth Vader or Lord Vader uh, again I iconic uh, character the look is just awesome um, and I don't have a Darth Vader Funko Pop so uh, I guess you could say they were impulse buys that day when I went to Target see him and you know seeing him in person um, so I decided to pick him up so now I have uh, Darth Vader. And I was also thinking, like, you know, when I display them, eventually having, you know, uh, Darth in the middle and then the two stormtroopers on each side. I mean, out of the box, of course. So I thought that would look pretty cool. That was kind of my thought process, too, in uh, buying the second stormtrooper. <clears throat> and then, my if you don't know... Uh, you see behind me here, this is my Star Wars. It's most, mostly the Mandalorian, but there's also Star Wars uh, sprinkled in as well. I love the Mandalorian TV show. One of my favorite shows of all time, uh, and it, it has reignited my love for Star Wars. So this here from the Mandalorian, we have Bo-Katan Kryze, or Bo-Katan. Um, it, it's said either way in the in the... In the show, I say Bo-Katan, Bo-Katan Kreese. I ended up getting this for like three or four bucks on Amazon. Um, I don't know if it's still that price now, uh, but it was very cheap, and uh, she's an awesome character. I got this um, at the very beginning, I think, of season three, and I'm happy that I did end up getting because she was very, very pivotal uh, in season three. Uh, a lot of focus on. Bo-Katan in Season 3 of The Mandalorian, so glad I picked this up. Um, there was a chance of a chase, 
and I did consider buying multiple to see if I get the chase. Um, but I I don't like the chase as much much as much honestly as her in the helmet. The uh, the helmet is just so cool. And then um, I almost forgot about these little guys here. Impulse buy um, at five below. They ended up having these for five bucks a piece. One of the days my girlfriend and I went Rocket and Cosmo from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Could not resist. I did have Cosmo pre-ordered from Amazon, the you know, the full um size pop, which I ended up canceling. Um just you know, kind of trying to prioritize um stuff I wanted more and everything. But I ended up uh, getting these. Um which are really, really cool. I really don't want the full-size version of that rocket. I'm not really a fan of that rocket too much. I like uh, the older, one of the older um, Rocket Funko Pops that I have my eye on. It's the one with the jetpack, and he's got, like, the flame and smoke effects that go down and, and make the base. So I may end up picking that one up in the future. And then um, staying in the... Sticking in the Star Wars. I'm up getting this a couple, it's probably two weeks ago or so. Of course, it is the Mandalorian and Grogu on the speeder bike. Again, from the Mandalorian, you can't really see it too well. But uh, on the speeder bike from Funko. And I think technically this one is a Funko exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they were, but they were selling it on their eBay store, not, you know, through their actual store. I think technically it is an, uh, a Funko shop exclusive, but it doesn't have a sticker. Either way, uh, I could not pass up on this. I love uh, that that scene uh, in the show with them and uh, Grogu's ears, you know in the in the wind and it's cool it's a it's a really cool pop i'm looking forward to to seeing this one out of the box i think it's gonna look pretty sweet again you want to see any of these out of the box you know 360 view let me know i can put them up on a reel here on youtube and then i think um last but certainly not least we're gonna uh Deep, or we're gonna deep. We're gonna dive into the horror genre uh, with this last Funko Pop pickup, and this was a pre-order from Walmart, and that is the Killer Clowns from Outer Space movie cover with Rudy the Clown. One of my all-time favorite horror movies. Um, it's one of those that um, you either love it or you hate it. I think. Um, I don't really think there's an in-between in that, uh, one that I remember seeing back when I was probably in my late teens, early twenties, and I did not like it very much. Um, but over the years it has grown on me and it has become one of my favorites. And so I'm really happy to have this one and I don't think it's available now, at least for retail price. Um, you can get it from a third party, um, seller for you know a lot more money um but i think that is it for the funko pop um funko pop haul like i said i think some of these i may have shared in a uh you know uh previous video and if i did again i apologize but i just kind of wanted to do a big like you know i don't know compendium of recent Funko Pop Hall, so that way I didn't really miss anything. Um, but that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, you can follow me over on TikTok to see um, what I'm posting over there. If you want to see any of these uh, out of the box, uh, let me know. But for now, thank you as, al as always. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay awesome and keep collecting.